What's going on, everybody? This is DK Dynamite, and tonight we're going to be talking about some last-minute marketing for Season 2, all new patch notes, plus even more. Definitely stay tuned. But before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, drop a like, and let me know down below in the comment section. Will you be tuning into the Season 2 reveal stream I'll be doing as of tomorrow morning? Obviously, I'm recording this video on Tuesday, February 7th, but tomorrow morning I'll be live here on the channel doing a live reaction to the blog post, roadmap, and other DLC that is revealed for COD 2.0, dropping on February 15th. Hope to see you guys there, of course. But starting off with a bit of a funny report. Report. So Juju Smith Schuster says the Kansas City Chiefs made it to the Super Bowl thanks to Call of Duty. His quote was, I put in a lot of Call of Duty hours with Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kels, and MVS. A lot of COD hours were dropping down. The communication is on point. So figured I start off with a bit of a goofy report and let me know down below if you're interested in the Super Bowl that's going to be happening on February 12th or do you not care about it since the team you might have wanted to go to the Super Bowl didn't make the cut this time around, right? Let me know how you're feeling down below. But we also have a bit of an update regarding the quarter Quarter four sales from Activision Blizzard. A bit of a follow up to what I touched on briefly in a previous video. Activision said that Modern Warfare 2 had the best selling quarter four and launch quarter in the franchise's history. Obviously, dropping Warzone 2 a good three weeks after the launch of the premium game probably helped out with some of the base game sales as well. I mean, the name itself, Modern Warfare 2, is also massive. That probably played a big role in that. And Activision's monthly active users were 111 million in quarter four, the highest in over a year. So that's quite a bit of people and I'm happy to see Call of Duty be successful. I'm happy that to start a brand new era for the franchise known as COD 2.0, they had a strong start financially and even player wise. I love to hear that but it's unfortunate when you look at how strong the game was at launch and kind of the momentum that was built ever since the marketing started pre-release and then with the release of season one but then looking at where the game is now we should have never got to a point where the player count was dropping or people out there felt like they got scammed by buying the base game. Hopefully season two really turns things around for every portion of the community, whether you're just into multiplayer, Warzone, or DMZ. I'm really excited for Season 2 because it's a shame that a game had this strong of a start and some of were having discussions about why there was a month and a half drought with no communication, no extra content. I just hope we see a much stronger end to Modern Warfare 2's life cycle from Seasons 2 through 5 or 6, however many seasons the game is going to have. But yeah, there's that. Now, we also got a tweet today from somebody by the name of Fabian on Twitter saying, if COD drops gun game, I'm making a vid. I love that mode. Call of Duty's main Twitter account then quoted this tweet by saying and I quote anyone got a camera asking for a friend party up February 15th so confirmation that gun game is indeed going to return at some point here in season two for Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer the reason I say some point is because look at building 21 marketing from season one reloaded it was confirmed to be dropping during the mid-season update according to the blog post and it didn't so you never know if some content gets marketed for launch right February 15th but doesn't end up actually releasing for another extra week or two or longer so keep that in mind but in all honesty i do think the party games maybe even gunfight should have come out during the drought we had in january where there was no communication there was little marketing that could have been when they added in some minor things to kind of keep fans going obviously after season one reloaded came out we got cyber attack we got bounty we got hunted or whatever those modes are called and those are cool and all they were in Modern Warfare 19 but party games i mean i'm really looking forward to gun game infected they got confirmed recently hopefully gunfight comes out soon even though charlie intel said that it's not happening in season two hopefully they're wrong about that although i want to see those modes right we already saw those in Modern warfare 19 and just about every other previous cod multiplayer so i'm just ready for new content and newer modes that hopefully we end up seeing over the course of Modern warfare 2's life cycle to really reflect that this is a new era for the franchise a new era for multiplayer especially we gotta see more now if you guys are still looking for some assistance with camel grinding and cod 2.0 you can hit up Cod Peter over on Twitter. His link is down below for some very reasonable prices, whether it's for Polyatomic, even Orion. I'm not a fan of any unlock tools, cheats, any of that crap. Check them out with the link down below, of course. So people are probably going to be upset if on the roadmap we end up seeing just Museum and maybe one remaster or one new map, no gunfight, and then party games. People are going to be really upset about that. Hopefully that's not the case when the roadmap gets revealed. But as of now, for Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer in Season 2, we have confirmation that Ranked Play is coming day one. Infected, Gun Game, Classic Hardcore as we know it, and up to five new weapons. Obviously, I've been making a separate video and reacting on stream for you guys to the full blog post talking about everything coming to the multiplayer, what all the weapons are, the modes, hopefully newer maps. I'm really excited to talk about multiplayer. It's been the mode that hasn't gotten that much love, if anything, the least amount of love since the launch of COD 2.0 a couple of months ago. So people out there on the edge of their seats waiting for more information regarding the multiplayer. We've learned quite a bit already about Warzone 2 and DMZ and what to expect for those two modes in Season 2. But like you guys, I'm really really excited to hear more about the multiplayer side of things because I'm a diehard COD fan and I love multiplayer and I want to see it as successful as possible getting equal treatment and equal DLC 
as Warzone and DMZ. But looking at this comparison picture that Charlie Intel even posted earlier this evening, looking at where we were in the life cycle for Modern Warfare 19 at around this time, right, February, all the way back in early 2020, in terms of the multiplayer maps that game had to offer, that game had a really rough launch for multiplayer. It had a decent amount of maps, but none of them were necessarily great. And I want to say the post-launch season for that game's multiplayer introduced some really good multiplayer maps, right? Candor Hideout and some other ones, to name a few. I really did like the post-launch maps that game got. Modern Warfare 2 is kind of the reverse, though, where the game launched on a pretty good note with a decent amount of fun maps. It just hasn't gotten much love ever since. We haven't seen any new maps, right? Season 1 only added in two remasters. That's it. And I think it's a good thing to get rid of Shoot the Ship now, right? Get those maps out the way early and then focus on new maps later. But Season 2 got delayed by two weeks, so that didn't really help the multiplayer community at all. Now, we'll get back to multiplayer in a second. We did get some updates over on the Trello board for Warzone 2.0. Some minor patch notes that you guys probably missed. First off, they're aware of an issue where loadout and equipped items do not load into a match with a player, but are back on Soldier after the match. That ended up getting resolved, which is cool. And they also mentioned that they were aware of an exploit with the deployable cover allowing some players to reach out of bound areas. That also got resolved. But for the DMZ side of things, they went ahead and mentioned that for all platforms, the restock event did get disabled while they investigated an issue causing loot drop by players to disappear. That was occurring from January 11th to February 6th, and a fix for that apparently did drop along with these supply crate issues. So they were investigating a problem where more than one player can loot a captured supply crate that was also going on from the 20th of January till February 6th. So some very minor updates there, and I'm glad that they mentioned that over on Trello board for the sake of transparency. Obviously, we'll be getting full patch notes for Season 2 probably on Monday or Tuesday. I'll be covering that in a separate video. They'll probably briefly touch on some upcoming fixes in the big blog post coming tomorrow for Season 2. So I'll keep you guys posted with what's going on with stability of COD 2.0. Now, as a bit of a brief follow-up to a video that I just posted talking about the next Call of Duty, what could be coming out this fall, and what could even be a first teaser for Black Ops 2024, people out there are giving out some pretty cool responses to what the next Call of Duty could be if it is meant to be some type of spin-off game, if you're following that whole TikTok-like COD schedule that apparently is in the works, maybe the TOC or the Year 2 for Modern Warfare 2 is truly just a game that costs 70 bucks, has a spin-off type of campaign that either follows up on Modern Warfare 2 or as a prequel of sorts with our new Ghost, the multiplayer could in fact just be Modern Warfare 2 and 3 remastered, right? Classic MW2 and 3 as we knew it from years ago, remastered on the new COD 2.0 engine. That could be what the multiplayer is. If you want to line that up with the rumor that we're getting a greatest hits like pack, maybe that's where that falls in. I didn't really talk about this in a previous video, so I figured I'd bring that up. And then to also justify $70 for that game, you also have like an outbreak or a zombies type mode that Treyarch helps make. Maybe something that can fit in with the Modern Warfare 2 lore to help bridge the gap better between Black Ops and Modern Warfare. But circling back to multiplayer, we have a former executive producer of Call of Duty, Mark Rubin, who did put out a very interesting tweet that you guys probably missed. He's actually working on a separate game right now that you might not have known about, in which he went ahead and said, if you were making a multiplayer first-person shooter, he would want no SPMM and casual play, a ranked mode, lobbies that stay together, red dots on minimap, map voting, and just to name a few, hint, he is making that game. So it'll be interesting to see what other games come out, specifically first-person shooters that try to compete with Call of Duty multiplayer, if multiplayer continues down a downward trend or a downward spiral for Call of Duty, then I'm curious what other games can kind of come out and try to compete, whether it's Dr. Disrespect's upcoming game, whether it's Mark Rubin's game. I really do wonder which games are going to end up coming out that will somehow maybe dethrone COD multiplayer. If the focus of COD going forward is going to be on just Warzone or DMZ or some zombies, I wonder if somebody else out there can come out with a multiplayer that somehow has enough budget and, and, and support and commitment that can level it to what a Call of Duty multiplayer typically would be. Now, like I said before, I don't dislike Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. I actually really enjoy it, and I think some of the maps the game offers so far are great. The camel system is fantastic, but it just needs more content and spread it out better as well, right? Get out more party game modes more frequently. Uh, bring out actual new experiences that we didn't see in Modern Warfare 19, and the multiplayer will be fine. It just needs some type of support, but to round up this video, we have a really fun funny tweet I wanted to go over from Espresso who said, I want to understand why the level cap this year is so slow when 1,000 levels work just fine the last two years per season. I understand, don't agree with. The goal is to get players to come back to work on it a month after month, but why so low? I've been 250 for 60 days. And yeah, obviously I agree with this too. I understand them wanting to have players come back every season. I actually like the seasonal prestige system that we had in Cold War or even the officer rank system for Modern Warfare 19. I liked where that was going, where that was headed, but the whole reset 
that every season was kind of a turnoff for most people. I personally didn't care. I would usually hit like level 400 or 500 anyway, but I do get them trying to say, okay, let's keep that system, but at the same time, instead of resetting levels each season, just have the level go up. I love that change to it, kind of innovating on something that was going in a good direction, but still needed some work. I like what they did with the leveling for Modern Warfare 2 or Ka 2.0, but the fact the season has lasted this long has me thinking they might as well could have increased the level cap to 400 or something in January when they knew the season was going to get delayed until February 15th. That would have been more appropriate. But going forward, let's see how leveling system works if the seasons are going to be 90 days or something, <laughs> which is ridiculous. But we'll just have to wait and see what happens when the blog post drops as of tomorrow. But that is about it. This has been DK Dynamite. Leave our thoughts down below in the comment section. What are your thoughts on the last minute marketing for season two regarding Gun Game? How are you feeling about the minor patch notes that came out and everything else we discussed? Really hope you've enjoyed and peace out, everybody.